Now the question becomes, how do we get the UVs from this character back onto our ZBrush model? Well, that's actually really simple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to export this out. So File, Export Selection, and I'll save this as an OBJ, and I'll just save it as OBJ uh, UV Layout, and uh, I have all the OBJ set to off, and hit Export. Okay. Now I can go back into ZBrush, and in ZBrush, uh, you can see that this is the um, level one of the high-end sculpt that I have. This is the one with all the subdivisions. I don't want to overwrite this, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to the simple brush, hit Control N to clear the canvas. You'll notice that my character is still lo loaded right here. Okay, so I didn't lose the character, it's just not currently active. Now I'm going to go ahead and import the OBJ. Here it is, OBJ UV layout. And here's my character. Okay, great. Now, I need to somehow copy the UVs from this one, because this is the one with the good UVs, onto my other one that has the bad UVs. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and go up to Z Plugin, and I'm going to open up UV Master and go to Copy UVs. Great. Now I can click back on the other one, which should have identical uh, polygons uh, at level one and now I can go to Z plugin and go to paste UVs okay it, you can't really tell if anything happened so the way that I can check my character for the UVs is if I go down here to UV map and go to morph UV if I click on morph you can see that the character literally will morph into the UV and hey, that looks good, okay? Another thing I can do is to check to make sure that the UVs are good is I'm going to um, go to create, uh, no, I don't wanna do that. Well, first of all, on the UV map, I'm gonna choose the size of my map and I'll just leave it at 2048. And if I go to t uh, texture map, I can go to create and I'll say new from UV check. And what this will do, is it'll paint gray on the model where the UVs are good and it'll paint red wherever it's bad, okay? So I can see here and I can actually uh, go back here and I can increase my subdivision levels and I'm gonna look around the model to see if there's any places where it painted it red and if it's solid gray that means that we're fine, okay? We're we're in business and that's looking good to me I could also see here on the texture map that there's no red on there it would be very obvious if there was something wrong so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that texture off and excellent now we have our high-res sculpt with UVs ready for textures all right.